What's up guys? Welcome back. Today's video is my first ever Q&A on this channel and a few nights ago on Instagram I asked you guys if you guys wanted to ask me any questions for my Q&A and then I also did one a few months back so I'm just going to read through the questions on both of these and I just want to thank everyone who did ask me questions. Um, I did open it up to anything fashion related, anything about living in the city or personal as well and you guys definitely take advantage of the personal options um, which I was kind of nervous about at first but I mean I obviously said it so good for you guys for doing it um, but yeah so a lot of personal questions that I feel like I haven't gotten to yet and now is a good time to just kind of sit down and get to it all and hopefully this video will help you guys to let you get to know me more because I know my videos are like very fashion based and lookbooks and like a lot of times I'm not really talking about myself so hopefully this video will kind of make it feel that you know me just a little bit more. I am going to turn my AC on. I know it makes a noise and I know a few of you guys have said stuff about it but it is so hot in my room that I just have to so don't kill me. I'm so sorry. Also these jeans are like not the most comfortable to sit in so if I'm sitting like awkward and weird that is why picked the wrong pants for this. Alright, so I'm just going to jump right into it. I hate long intros. I feel like if you guys watch my videos, you know this. And there is a lot of questions to get to. So, and I'm not going in any order. So if it's like bouncing around, I'm not going in any order. First question is, are you originally from New York? So no, I'm originally from South Florida, Boca Raton area. I've lived there most of my life. And I moved to New York when I was 20. How old are you? I am 25. So, like I just said, I moved to New York when I was 20. And I just turned 25 in August. Summer of hi, hey, what's up? Um, do you love living in NYC? I wrote these, because for this first story I did, I wrote my answers on Instagram, so if you guys have heard these questions, I'm sorry, but I just wanted to put it all in one video. Um, I do love living in New York City for the most part. I can't picture myself living anywhere else. It is hard living, it is extremely expensive. Sometimes it does take a toll on you mentally, but I think it's so worth it. I think everybody should live here for at least like six to six months to a year, um, just so they could feel that they get the city experience. But yes, short answer, I do love living in the city. Um, let's see, how long have you lived in the city? So in August, it was four years. How do you decide if a piece is worth splurging on? So I get asked this question all the time, even by my personal friends. So if I'm loving an item for a long time, like a few months, and I could really see myself using it every day or often, then I'll invest in it. So that's why I usually invest in designer bags. I don't invest in designer shoes because it is the city and it's, my shoes get destroyed after a few wears. Um, I'm always constantly buying new black booties. So I like to keep my black booties under $200 because they get ruined. I wear them to bars, they get drinks spilled on them, etc. Um, so I do really only invest in nice coats, designer bags, and some jewelry as well. So once again, if I really feel like I could wear it, if I feel like it'd be a staple in my wardrobe that I'll get so much wear out of and get my money's worth, then I'll 100% invest. So that's a good question. What's your favorite color? Love you. Oh, love you too. Um, I don't really have like a favorite color anymore. I feel like that was like a thing when you were like a kid. Like, what's your favorite color? And like, as a kid, my favorite color was lime green. But now, I don't really have a favorite color. I mean, wardrobe-wise, I love neutrals. So like creams, grays, blacks, whites, mauves, um, anything neutral. And I feel like with my lip color as well, so maybe neutrals. Why did you start a YouTube channel? Um, I started a YouTube channel over two years ago and basically I've always been fashion obsessed and I've always been beauty obsessed as well with makeup and skincare. So basically I would always like buy a new item and I was just like, how do I get this out here? Like I want people to like see this new item and like talk about why I love it. So that's basically what made me start a YouTube channel just to talk about fashion with other girls who love fashion just as much as I do. Um, it's honestly been such a creative outlet for me and it's just helped me through like so much in my life and I'm just so grateful that I do this and it, I honestly love to create videos. It's like my favorite thing ever. Um, where did you go to college? So I went to the University of Central Florida for two years. I studied business marketing and then I transferred to the Fashion Institute of Technology which is in Manhattan and I studied fashion business management. What's your favorite restaurants in NYC at the moment? Um, for sushi, I love Momoya. I love um, a few other places. Italian, I would say. I love Bar Pitti. I love Ruby Rosa. American food, I really like Ruby's. I don't know if that's American. I think it's actually Australian, but I don't know. Just like basic restaurants like that. Um, where did you go to college? I already answered that. Did you always love fashion? Yes, I love fashion 
my entire life. I've definitely, my love for it has definitely grown since I've moved to New York, but I've always been fashion obsessed. I've always like spent my money on clothing and stuff, which is not good, but I've always been fashion obsessed. How do you decide your looks every day? Um, I get quite asked this question a lot too. Basically, it depends on like obviously the weather outside, that's first off. And then if I have any new pieces that I'm dying to wear, like a new sweater, I'll base my whole outfit around that. So, or like today I wanted to wear a white t-shirt, so I was like, what can I wear? So I just threw on my boyfriend jeans, a bunch of gold necklaces, and called it a day. But I planned out this whole look just basing it off of a white t-shirt. Are you single? <laughs> I knew this question was gonna come up. I got asked this question a lot of times in my newest one too. Um, yes, I am single. If you guys used to watch my channel, you know that I lived with a boyfriend, um, which I never really got into this on my channel because he was never really in my videos and stuff, but I mean, he was in a few, So, I'm, and I think I would always mention like, oh, I live with my boyfriend. Um, and this is also why, if you guys noticed this summer, I kind of like calmed down with the videos and stuff. I was going through like, so much change. But yes, I'm single. Me and him are still really good friends. I wish him nothing but the best. I still like talk to him all the time. Um, and I did see a question later on. I'm just going to get to it now. Someone asked, like, where's that cute dog that was always in your stories? His name is Lionel. That's, he stole my dog, but he lives with my ex full time just because it just would work out better for the dog. He would be alone less living with my ex so we just decided that that was best for Lionel so just jumping to that I knew this question was gonna get brought up and I was dreading it but honestly I shouldn't because there's no like ill feelings towards him and yeah we still get along really well but yeah to your question I am single what is your favorite denim brand? I'm actually wearing my favorite de jeans right now I don't think you guys could see but they're vintage Levi's they're the wedgie fit I don't really know. Uh, will you do another giveaway? Yes. I did a giveaway on my YouTube channel and I didn't really extend it. I didn't really share it on my Instagram, which I do regret now. So I think I am going to do another huge giveaway and then also promote it on my Instagram. So if you follow my Instagram or YouTube, you'll see it on there, on both. Um, how do you afford new clothing? So I always shop at fast fashion. You guys know this. So Zara, Mango, Forever 21, H&M. ASOS has been like my go-to and you can really get on-trend items at an affordable rate I don't really believe in buying designer clothing. I only really like designer handbags um, Because like I keep saying you could wear them over and over whereas clothing I'm the type of person I wear something a few times especially a trend item like a leopard sweater You're gonna wear that what two to three times and then sell it throw it out give it to a friend so I only shop at fast fashion and that is how I'm always able to afford new clothing and then also um since fashion is such like a priority in my life i i budget this more so i might not go out to dinner or go out to bars as much as my other friends do but when they're out drinking at a bar i'll be online shopping and i know that's like crazy but it's just what's important to me it's what i love to do i personally like, work hard for my money and i like to spend it in certain ways and i know people don't agree with it i do save a lot of my money at the same time so this is just what I value and what I like to spend my money on. What's your favorite makeup brands? Mostly for the face. Um, I'm in love with the Giorgio Armani foundation. It's super expensive, but it is so worth it. It really feels like there's nothing on your face. Um, but for every day, I use the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. And then for drugstore, I love the Maybelline Infallible Matte Foundation. It's really good. What's your favorite clubbing slash bar outfit? Um, I keep, okay, so my style is very casual. I'm sure you guys know this. So to a bar, I would literally wear a t-shirt, jeans, and booties. I always like to wear a little bit of a heel because I just, I feel the most confident that way. I like to have a little bit of height. Um, if I am going to a club and I have to dress up, I'll probably wear like a black bodysuit, black skinny jeans, black booties, call it a day. I don't really dress up crazy when I'm going out to bars. Like my friends are always like, your style on your Instagram is different from like, when I go out at night and it 100% is because a lot of these items I just think are like super crazy to go out in at night and also I don't want to ruin them in a crowded bar so I feel like I wear like very basic clean outfits at night and then this way it's just like simple timeless you know how do you stay tan living in NYC so I use self tanners I use loving tan and Bondi sands they're both amazing I do it probably once a week um, and yeah 
That's how I stay tan because I honestly never see the sun. So, yeah. You said in your last vlog that you're doing laser hair removal. What parts of your body and do you notice a difference? Uh, okay, I am doing laser hair removal. I do my legs, my Brazilian, and my underarms. And I do notice a huge difference. The bundle that I paid for was eight sessions and I've only gone twice. And at, even after only going twice, I've seen a huge difference. The only thing that sucks about laser hair removal is like you can't shave two weeks after you get it. So for like two weeks after, you cannot shave. So like I was like in jeans those two weeks and a t-shirt. But honestly, like when you can shave after, you, after those two weeks, you'll see such a difference in how much grows back. And it's just amazing. I really highly recommend it. I've always wanted to do it. So I figured like why not now? Where's your blue, blue skirt from that you wore in a recent post? Blue skirt. I don't know. I, I don't know what picture you're talking about, but I do tag all my items, and I even went back a few months and tagged all those items because I never used to do that. So just recheck my Instagram. I, I'm sorry. I really don't know what picture you're talking about. But it should be tagged. It should be tagged. Um, do you have lip injections? No. I would love to get them like I feel like I want to get them in a very natural version but at the same time I don't think I really want them like I just wish my top lip was a little bit more plump but I don't know if like lip injections are for me but I, I'm open to it and I don't judge anyone who does it I just want to go overboard I really I like to keep like natural makeup and natural face sometimes so I feel like lip injections just like want to look cool okay so that was from the last q &A, so let me just go to the most recent one and this one. Okay. What is your favorite book? So I don't think I have like a favorite book. Right now I'm reading the, the Mind of a Millionaire, I think it's called. It's really good. It's about like a business book and like how to change your mindset in order to be successful. I've been really into books like that. So not like sci-fi or like fiction books, more like real life, this is how you should think to like make money, be successful kind of thing. How tall? I thought this was so funny because they didn't even write like, how tall are you or like, they just wrote how tall. I'm 5'5". Five five. What is your job? So I just recently left a job and I was the business manager and it was a fashion startup. So basically I did like the social media, the e-commerce, styling, a bunch of different things. Um, but right now I am just freelancing and I'm working for myself. I'm really trying to make YouTube and like influencer marketing and all that stuff my main job so that is currently what i'm doing what is your zodiac sign i am a leo um who do you live with i live with one of my really good friends john i've known him since the sixth grade his name is fig newton on instagram if you guys want to follow him he's really funny um i know you have said wait okay this is like a long one i know you have said you have had bad skin in the past what have you done to make it clear um, yes, I've always struggled with acne on my chin and jawline. It's just a hormonal thing. I can't help it. Um, I have, my skin has been very clear. And I think it's a combination between the medication I'm on for it and my skincare routine. So I can do a whole separate video on my night tip. My, sorry, I keep touching my hair. Hold on. So I can do a whole separate video on my nighttime and morning skincare routine, but I'm also on a medication called spironolactone. My dermatologist gave it to me. My friends are on it too, and it's helped their skin so much, and it's helped my skin like tremendously. So I really think that's like the majority of what's causing it to be so clear. So if you guys do, I do recommend to go to your dermatologist and ask them if you are like capable to go on it. You do have to get your blood taken every six months to make sure you're your potassium levels are okay but other than that it's like fine to be on um let's see do you pick out your outfits beforehand or while you are getting ready it's different i'm never the type of person to try on an outfit before i wear it even my birthday i ordered an outfit and i tried it on when i got ready and all my friends were like what if it didn't fit i was i don't know like i would i would fit find something else but I'm not the same person to like try things on the night before. So I kind of wake up, figure out my mood. But if I am shooting, like if I'm meeting up with a friend to take photos, I do usually have my outfits planned out for sure. Otherwise, I'll be scatterbrained. Um, but I usually do pick them out in the morning. Sorry if that just cut off 
mid-sentence my memory card just gave out which has been happening in every video recently I really need to go through and delete like all my old footage but I feel like I hit on most of the topics a lot of it was about my relationship status laser hair removal skin care and then a lot of fashion as well so I feel like I hit on a lot of topics but obviously if you've got any more questions for me you can leave them down below in the comment box and I either will save them for another Q&A or just answer them in the comments so yeah, feel free to ask me any questions in any video, not even this one. Like I try to be super open in my videos, but like, sometimes I get carried away talking about fashion that maybe you feel like you don't get to know me, but I don't want that. Like I feel like I love my followers so much that I want you to feel that you do know me besides fashion, skincare, and all that stuff. I try to answer every single comment just so I can communicate with you guys, and it means so much to me that you guys watch my videos and leave feedback, and yeah, I'm not going to get into that whole thing, but I just want to thank you guys because this has been such a fun ride for me, and I'm so excited to see where it goes, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more Q&As, and I will see you guys in my next one.